Hello guys, Salman Nassim here. Welcome to first video of our character creator series in which we'll discuss free character creator within Blender. At first we'll learn the add-on name Manual Bastonia Lab. To download you'll have to go github.com uh, on this link I'll put in the description. Uh, click on code and download the zip file. Once you'll have the download you'll have to click add it, go to preferences, go to add-on and click on install button. Uh, navigate to the directory you have downloaded and select the file click on install add-on it will take little time to install this add-on after that you'll have to enable the add-on by uh, searching mb here there is a character mb lab you'll have to enable it and you can check for latest update by clicking on this button from this add-on we'll have extra button within our navigation menu we'll have uh, we'll bring it here and we'll have mb lab here I'll check it. At first we can select the character from here. I'll, I'll select this male ELF and click on create character. If you want to use it in an EV, select it, use it in an EV engine. Right now I'm using it in a cycle so I, I'm selecting this and we'll click on create character. It will take some time to process. Once it's will completed, we'll have one character over here. I will delete the default cube to have the better view and click one to go to the front view interestingly our character is already rigged we can check it by select uh, selecting the rig here and go to object uh, and go go to object data properties from here and click uh, viewport display and check on in front that that will display our rig here and we'll go to pause mode to check the rig you can check our rig is working perfectly fine I'll make it on object mode and click on in front. At first we have uh, its display here. The age is 33 year old and the mass is 50% with the tune value. With the tune value of 50%. We can adjust the age from here. If we click one here, our character age directly convert to the 80 years old. You, you can check the face and if we and we select minus one here our character age will return into a 18 year old secondly we have the mass option if we click one here uh, that will turn into a fat guy and second lastly we have the tune value if we click one here that will be tune it is weight into into his body and we can reset it at any time by clicking here next we have the character library from which from where we can select the type of our character i can click it and i can select the extreme bodybuilder from here and there are there are lot lot of other options over here next we have random generator which allows us to generate anything specifically with the light of this engine uh, whatever we have select here it will generate it automatically lastly we have uh, again uh, body mass and the body tune so we can adjust it from here also in a blow tab we have reset pose like uh, right now our character is in a pose we can bring it in a t pose or anything else next we have skin editor which allow us to play with the skin of our character in in interestingly the texture is already included within our our character we can check it by going to render mode and i'll make it little bright here so we'll have the better view of our character we have the skin editor here i we can adjust anything like the bump value and anything else we i want to adjust here i i we can adjust the skin oil within our character once we have each and everything we can finalize it by going to finalize the tool and click on finalize with the texture and the backup button once i click on that button that is asking me to save uh, the backup files and the texture files so i'll have to give the location of that files so i'll select the finalize and the backup button it will take some time to finalize it to finalize the character once our character is finalized our mb lab is automatically changed we can create a face rig of our character i'll bring it to the solid mode from here so I'll we can adjust we can see it in a better way we can create the face rig we can easily adjust the face we can easily animate the face of our character once i'm moving it with the g key you can see the change within we can see the change within our character face 
at the top we have lip syncing voice like if you want to use it uh, you, if you want to use our character for the lip syncing and uh, interestingly we can delete the face rig at any time by clicking next we have face expressions which allow us to animate with the help of shape keys which is already created within manual best lab if i click here uh, nothing will be appear because our character is not selected once I, we select our character we have too many options like we can uh, we can make our character cry or we can make it evil look from here or anything else and interestingly we can animate it at any time if i if i don't want to click animate it by clicking i key we can insert it or uh, insert the keyframe in all the properties by by clicking this button and i'll go i'll change little bit in a timeline and i'll change it on a confuse and i'll change this one back and this one here and the crying this one here just a little change to have the better understanding i click on the insert keyframe button again so we'll have the keyframe over here also so if we drag our cursor here you can see our character is animating according to keyframe we have uh, put in within our character next we have assets in here but by default we won't have anything here uh, it's empty lastly we have pause and the animation option like we can uh, pause our character according to our need like i can select gym here so our character is automatically go to that pose i can load uh, the more pose from here and i'll bring it to the old man uh, standing old people in that option we can import the bvh files also to close i'll animate little bit our character i'll go there and select the rig go go to pose mode from here i'll bring our rig in a front so i can i'll have the better view and i'll animate it just go to zero i'll i'll put the keyframe here i location rotation scale by default we can put it here we'll change our cursor from here and i'll just we'll adjust little from here and the i key so once we check that the overhand is start animating so that is all for today's tutorial don't forget to subscribe our channel See you in the next video. Thank you so much.